In this video, we will cover the installation and setup of a BR1 Mini cellular modem. Understanding the setup of the BR1 Mini is crucial for operations that require an internet connection. For example, DisplayCast and N-Trip via the InCommand 1200 display. When you receive your BR1 Mini cellular modem kit from AgLeader, verify that you have received the following parts. BR1 mini cell modem, external high gain antenna, Wi Fi antenna, cellular antenna, power cable, Verizon SIM card, 12 volt wall power cable, mount and installation kit. First, install the antennas. Attach the external cellular antenna to the cellular main port. Attach the flat cellular antenna to the cellular diversity aux port. Attach the Wi-Fi antenna to the Wi-Fi port. To power up the BR1 Mini, plug the BR1 Mini power cable into the DC in port. Then, tee the four pin connectors into the guidance activation plug on the display cable. If an AgLeader steering system is not in the vehicle, only one side of the T will be used. Connecting to the guidance activation will allow the BR1 Mini to turn on and off with the display. If powering up the BR1 Mini in an office setting, the 12 volt wall power cable may be used. Before utilizing the BR1 Mini, we must first activate it. In order to activate and set up a data plan, we need to locate the BR1 Mini IMEI number and the SIM card's activation number. The activation number can be found on the back of the SIM card package or on the front of the SIM card itself. Please note the Verizon SIM card will be installed in the BR1 prior to shipment from AgLeader. Next, contact Data Activation Center to activate a data plan. If you already have a compatible SIM card that is activated with your cellular carrier, you may use it instead of the provided SIM card. Other compatible carriers are AT&T and US Cellular. After completing the activation steps, you may need to wait at least 5 minutes and power cycle the BR1 Mini in order for activation to take place. Verify your BR1 Mini is connected to a network by looking at its three LEDs. When connected to a network, all three LEDs should be green or flashing green. Once activated, we can now connect the BR1 Mini to the display. In the InCommand 1200 or 800, tap the display icon, then tap Data Transfer, then the networking icon. The default name for the BR1 Mini is BR1 Mini Hotspot. Tap the device name, then enter the password, which by default is also BR1 Mini Hotspot. Tap Connect. You should then see the status for the network change to Connected. If you would like to change either the network name or the password, you can find instructions on the AgLeader Knowledge Base. When mounting the BR1 Mini, you may choose any convenient location inside your cab. Be sure that it is mounted where cell reception can be received and that external cellular antenna is installed on the roof of the vehicle if possible. Included in the kit for installation is a mounting plate or dual lock strips that can be used to stick the BR1 to the window of the cab. Now you will be able to successfully set up and activate a BR1 mini cellular modem for your operation. If you'd like to see other short tutorials from AgLeader, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.